Hello Virgo, welcome on my channel, Tipal to Tarot. I'm going to do your uh, December 2020 bonus general love reading. Who is coming? What's happening in your love life? Keep in mind this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave the part that is not for you. Don't push it, don't force it. Um, this is a general reading. You can also get a personal reading if you want it. Check out the description box for all the prizes and personal detail. Sun, moon, rising or any planets if you have in Virgo. So this is for you. Let's see. And you could be vice versa if you're cross watcher. Let's see who is coming. What's happening in your love life. Seven of Cups. Oh, a lot of options. So a lot of people want to reach out to you. Or maybe you have a lot of options. And you're not sure. Yeah, a lot of people are after you. Especially if you're the Divine Feminine. Oh my god, a lot of people are seeing look like you're the goddess. So you could be dealing with Pisces, Taurus, Libra. Look at this King of Wands. That sexy dude. Aries, Leo, Sag, King of Cups. Oh. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be same gender sex relationship. This could be a third party. This could be same gender sex, but someone is another with, with a woman or man. You know, like a side. Third party situation I'm picking up. Uh, okay. They're saying take it. Ace of Cups reverse, Two of Swords, and Queen of Pentacles. But you can't see. You can't see this love is coming or you're not accepting this love. Yeah, you're definitely not seeing this love offer. You rejected this love offer or you are going to reject this love offer. Whoever this person is approaching you. You're going to reject it. Or maybe you're not sure what to do. Seven of Pentacles. Wait. Yeah. You're hanging there, the hangman. You will take some time. You will take your time to say yes or no to this person, whoever this person is. Okay, so definitely fire sign, water sign, Taurus and Libra, uh, Aquarius. I'm also getting Capricorn, maybe. We have Taurus. A lot of earth energy could be another uh, earth sign. We also have air. I'm picking up Gemini vibes and Aquarius. Um, could be any sign, by the way. We will not. Libra also here, okay? So, Virgo, you have options. Trust me, you have, okay? There's a lot of people who's trying to approach you with the Seven of Cups. Um, but you're saying, I don't know who's the right person. You're not sure about it. Because I'm seeing that you're working on yourself with the Empress. You're trying to be a goddess. You're trying to heal yourself. You're trying to recover. You're trying to be in, in your power. But somehow you're having a difficult time to claim your power with the Queen of Pentacles. So a lot of you, you're struggling right now financially and you don't want to be in love. Love is not on your plate right now. That's why you're delaying. Um, you're saying no. You're putting these people on hold. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Definitely third part situation. Look at this. One queen, two kings. Or you may be stuck on between two peoples. Like you don't have, you, you can't understand who to choose. One is maybe from the past, yeah, that you're waiting for, but that person is definitely giving you nothing and you're not receiving from them nothing. I feel like you're resisting yourself, blocking yourself to move forward because there is someone new here. The Ace of Pentacles, they have something to offer you. They have, this is like, this, this person can be a destined or fated meeting that you're going to meet this person are already in your life by the fate. But you're not sure with the Two of Swords who's that person. Who to choose and who to not. Because Ace of Cups reverse here. You're already crying over the past things that happened with you. You may be right now healing. You're confused. You may be in the process of healing. That's why you, you can't see this offer is coming. Or you can't see this person properly. But this person is in front of you. Or coming to you. Uh, a lot of you, you're working on your money, finances. And you're not looking for love. So there's no judgment, obviously. There's no offense because you're not looking for love. You're not ready for love. You're being patient with yourself. You're waiting for the one I'm hearing for a lot of you. But I'm seeing with the king and queen of cups, um, there's a two mans that interested in you or women or women maybe if you're a man watching this video. One is a water sign, one is a fire sign or they may be carrying this, these energies of water and um, fire. I feel this is someone that you holding on to. This is someone who played with you. You're waiting on to this person. This person definitely think about you. I want to be with you with the king of wands, but they don't ha they have other plans right now. They could be working on their money. They're definitely not rushing into things, but you really want them to offer you something serious. 
but king of cups is the person that who can offer you right now whatever you want okay but you may be not interested in them just saying you have two options you need to choose you need to make a decision here but you're really confused you're delaying that it's look like you're self-sabotaging your connection but whatever is meant to be it is meant to be because we have the star it is going to happen it's a fated meeting it's a destiny and also you're being patient maybe until you will get a right person a right offer because you feel like it's just options for you you still want to explore your options or choices but i also feel like a lot of you you're working on your destiny your career your finances you really want to be successful you really want to achieve something in your career in your finances you really want to be something you're struggling with your finances you're trying to recover and heal your finances and there is these people who are interested in you but you may be like no i'm just uh i i need some time and you will take some time because i'm seeing there's a two people approaching you one is from your past and one is someone new and you are indecisive about it like who to choose what the, what is the right option or what is the right cup because this is here like you're confused you don't know what to do so i feel that right now only time will decide you just need to take some out for yourself have fun with yourself and try to enjoy your life that's what you're doing already with the empress or you need to do that with the empress energy you may be working on some creative works or projects and this is that person coming to you we have the playfulness yeah and we also have children so either you have the children with this person because we have the empress mother energy and this person really want to reach out but there is also someone that you can have a fun with like you're having some flirt energy or something but i'm also getting with the children and playfulness energy like one of these option is someone who's trying to approach you is like someone who's like a childlike energy like they're very playful they could be younger than you for giving a learning this is x this could be someone that you had a babies with your relationship with passed with and they want forgiveness another chance yeah definitely or maybe you need to release someone you need to forgive your baby father if they hurt you or you need to forgive someone who hurt you and be playful and be open-minded and receive this new love that is coming it's a destiny it's a destiny i'm hearing again separation and we also have the release your ex yeah a lot of you you need to release your ex you're holding on to something that is not that is toxic that is not good for you and you're blocking your true fate your true destined partner your true love someone who's authentic and someone who can offer you something serious some of you definitely definitely need to release a player someone who was immature someone that you have a babies with our father baby father or mother and they definitely hurt you a lot you need to release that person and in order to re receive the safe love in your life what i'm hearing you need to do that virgo if you are you don't have children this is someone who was playful they were immature and this person is not right for you they're very playful they are they need to learn a lot x breakup separation and we also have separation it's came up together yeah some of you definitely stuck on the x keys on the ring you have options again there's a lot of options or a lot of people may be trying to approach you or you maybe have you know like decision to make what to do about this situation that you're going through let's see it could be vice versa like this person has an option two people strongly two people like they could be already dealing with someone and they want to be with you or you are the new option for them a new choice for them they need to make a decision here and they're indecisive cassettes yeah this is definitely something from the past playing the same cycle something like that repeating you know replaying events over in your head this person definitely can't forgive you can't forget you can't forget you if this is someone definitely from your past they can't forget you dragonfly yeah you need to adopt the change you have options you have the power to say yes or no to this person whoever this person is approaching you or maybe new person you have a power where go claim your power because you're not feeling good enough for yourself you're not sure it's not good energy chaser yeah this is someone that you chased maybe at some point you are chasing this person and you stop chasing or you need to stop chasing and accept that this person is not coming to you 
Just accept that. If you're not chasing, people say, oh my God, I'm not chasing. Oh, honey, you're still thinking about that person. You're still spying on that person. What is this? It's chasing. You still think about the past, still repeat, you know, replay that events that happened between you and this person. You're chasing. It's not in a physical, it's in your mind, it's in your heart. You're chasing that person. Stop doing that. Because we have the abundance. A lot of you, you're chasing money. You're like, no, honey, I don't want any boo. I am my boo. I want to chase money. Mm. Just saying. So that's your reading. I will see you in the next video. Bye.